Hello friends and welcome back. Uh, today I've got something a little different. I wanted to share with you another uh, device I've come up with to help make a particularly a Delta printer print more accurately. So uh, if you've ever struggled with the layer lines or the layer shifting in a Delta printer, uh, there's a lot of things that can cause that. Obviously filament, uh, temperature, all, all the typical things, retraction. Uh, but one of the things that I've found that seems to affect my prints has been the belt tension. Um, in a lot of cases it's not so much that the, the tension has to be of a certain poundage or, or weight, uh, but it's important they have to be consistent across all three belts. So I struggled with how to get it that way. I started experimenting with making this gadget here, which would clip over the rail of the printer and, you know, would give you a, uh, a level of, of or attention showing it like the um, arm would go up and down to telling you how taut the, uh, the belt was. The problem with that was belts can be thicker, belts can be thinner, uh, they, one could be stretched, uh, one could be stiffer than another one. But uh, so I tried to, I've been working on this for a while and most people just kind of give it a feel and see, uh, push in on it and yeah that's tight enough. Where the only other thing you can do is these carriages shouldn't drop. Now I've deliberately made a couple of my belts loose because I want to show exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so like when they're the proper tension they should all stay even and they shouldn't drop on their own. So what I've done, I've come up with an idea, I've come up with a device, this little guy right here, uh, and you're going to be able to download this off of Colts. Uh, you'll find it in the same website or uh, my same listings under Mr. Wizard. And uh, the way this works is inside each of these carriages is a sliding uh, plate that holds one half or one end of the belt. The other end of the belt goes up and over the pulleys and then um, gets bolted into just the frame of this carriage. So what happens is when you loosen, there's two Allen screws in here, when you loosen these two screws and then you can slide or pinch this block together uh, and that'll make it tighter or you can loosen it and then you tighten those, those two Allen screws. But the problem I had was how do you know that you've got them all the same? Well that's where this guy comes in. So it's been made to fit, now this is a Q5 and that's what I have so that's what I made it to fit but it could certainly be adapted to fit other printers. The way this works is there's a couple of springs and it's just a simple clamping mechanism, uh, spring loaded and to a, a poundage that I felt was appropriate. And the idea is you can just slip it right on the carriage. So what happens then is you can put your, your uh, Allen key in here and forgive me I'm working backwards I can't see exactly where I'm working but um, so you loosen these two Allens and what you'll notice is as soon as I release this second one that carriage or that clamp just squeezed together a little bit so now what that has done it's made that uh, belt tension match the spring tension of this clamp so what I typically will do is just run this arm up and down a couple of times which will get the tension uh, or get any slack out of the other side of the belt that's on the other side of the pulleys and then once I've just run that up and down a few times that takes out all that free play and you just simply lock it back down and now you can take this off and go to the next one when you're all done with that your tension is going to be exactly the same on all three belts no matter how much you move it around because the tension is all the same because it's all matching the spring tension of this clamp. So I've deliberately loosened up a couple of the belts, of course I just tightened that one because uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to run a test print of a calibration cube uh, with the belts not correct and then I'm going to go ahead and just go around clamp them all down then run another test cube with it and then we'll see the comparison of the results. So I'm going to speed up the video but I'm going to leave the camera rolling and let's see how it turns out. I already have a file loaded so I'm just going to go up in here set print and now we're going to wait
All right, as you can see, this one has finished. Now, this is the one that the belts are definitely loose on. Um, and as you can see, uh, we had a lot of problems here at the bottom on the first layer. First layer is a mess. Um, the rest of the cube didn't print too bad, uh, but as you can see, there's air gaps and light. Um, obviously, I exaggerated the effect of the problem by deliberately loosening the belts, but you can see that's what happens when your belts don't match. One was tight, two of them are real loose. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the reason the rest of the cube doesn't look too bad, uh, although there's a lot of um, banding in it, uh, is because eventually once a, a layer gets established, it builds a consistency, it's just consistently wrong. Uh, anyway, so we're going to leave this one off to the side and I'm going to go ahead and take the tensioner tool and I'm going to go ahead and tension, let me back the camera up a little bit if I can. Oops, wrong way. Um, I can't really get it back any further. But I'm going to uh, bring the, uh, the belt carriages down to working height so you can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, they're really loose because the print head is just falling. So again, I'm just going to squeeze the clamp, straddle the, um, the belts, loosen the adjuster screws. A little hard to find in here unless I want to take the other cover off. So just loosening that up. And you can see that just moved a considerable amount. So I'm going to just work it up and down to take the slack out of the belt on both sides and then just gently go in there without moving anything and just tighten them back up. Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to go on to the next two. And let's slip that guy in there. Let's turn them Okay, that one just moved quite a bit. And even though the other one I haven't messed with, since I adjusted these two, I'm going to just go ahead and do the third one anyway. Also, the other thing that uh, can affect your print quality, um, and I didn't mention it in this video, is your V-rollers uh, that are behind these covers. So, um, obviously, you don't want to have any side-to-side -side play in your, uh, in your belt carriages, which, you know, I've already made sure that I don't. But uh, you can easily tell if you rock them side-to-side, -side, if they have any free play, or if you uh, rotate them this way, uh, you don't want any of that free play. So... Um, there's plenty of videos on how to adjust the V-belt or the V-rollers. Anyway, as you uh, we left it before, this is the one that printed with the belts uh, that were out of whack. And now I'm going to go back in and print the same file again. And we'll just wait and see how that one comes out.
All right, well, let's see how we did with the second cube. Um, this is the one that was printed after the belts were corrected. And as you can see, um, the um, uh, skirt did, uh, didn't quite print right, but uh, not sure why that was. Maybe I just didn't clean it uh, well enough. But if you look, the, um, the base uh, has a nice smooth bottom. Oops, sorry. Yeah, uh, and the cube looks considerably better than the one we printed with the loose belts. So um, it does work to make your uh, belt tension consistent. There's one little blemish there on the bottom that's not a big deal. But if you look at this cube, see if I can get close enough without getting blurry. And let's compare it again to the one printed with the loose belts. You can see there's quite a difference even just in the bottom. The sides not so much, but there is definitely some banding and striping. And as I can, you can see looking through it, obviously there's some gaps and holes in the one that uh, had the loose belts. So anyway, uh, there you have it. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative and you get uh, some good tips out of it. Uh, and if you like to see more content, uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.